Hello! Right, we're back again for another test. And today I've got another soup pot to try. Um, this is the last of the uh, last batch that Surajan sent over from Berlin. Um, this is the yellow scorpion Maruga. Now again, it's a pretty decent sized pod. Um, it's got a bit of an unusual shape. It's kind of, well I suppose it's kind of got a tail to it. It's just a really big round fat tail rather than a pointed tail. Um, it almost reminds me of like a like a form of squash or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Those little yellow yellow squash type vegetables. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not going to taste like a squash though. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to have some pretty decent heat to it. So let's just chop it open. We'll see what we've got inside. And um, we'll get it straight down, shall we? Mm, okay. So, quite a bit of placenta. Yep, typical yellow kind of soup pot smell. Um, sorry, I can't be any more real descript than that. If you smell a yellow soup pot, you'll know what I mean. Um, yeah, it smells quite pleasant, quite fruity, I suppose. Um, not quite as fruity as maybe like the yellow seven. I'm just going to scrape a few seeds out just in case it's a, um, a keeper. And um, yeah, we'll get it down and see what it does. Certainly, the amount of placenta that's in there, I'm expecting it to be pretty warm. The seeds are all kind of hidden in behind that placenta. It's a bit awkward to get to. Okay, so managed to get a few seeds out of there. Quite decent sized seeds as well actually from that. And um, yeah, still loads in the other side as well. The other side's got just as much percent and just as many seeds really. So yeah, awesome. Right. Let's get it down and see what it does. Yellow scorpion maruga. Cheers. Good pop. Initial thoughts on flavour. Bit of a mixed bag that one, I'm not sure. <coughs> it's kind of it's got a bit of a sweetness to it, but all that placenta in there and all those seeds. I think probably more the seeds than the placenta. Give it a bit of a bitter edge. And as per most yellow, <coughs> yellow soup pots, just a pretty instant, <coughs> pretty instant heat taking over, <coughs> going from the throat, <coughs> and also rapidly spreading out into the mouth. So yeah, mm. it's definitely got some decent heat to it. It's um, it's not though with the red for certain, but then not many of the yellows are. I've got loads of bits trapped in around my teeth. Just causing like little pockets of pain in on my gums. Uh, uh, 
Yeah. Definitely, oh, definitely quite a hot one. No, a little bit disappointed on the flavour, I suppose. It wasn't, it wasn't one of the best tasting yellows I've had, but it's not awful. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Um, but I am getting to the point of the season where a lot of these soup pots, especially the yellows grouped together and the reds grouped together, are starting to taste a bit the same um, and yeah a bit hard to differentiate between them when you try so many just kind of get mixed up with with flavors and, and heat profiles but yeah definitely got a decent whack of a burn um, it's not really built to not really built to any significant high level in the throat um, like I thought it was going to but it's definitely built to a a good scorching mouth burn. It's all around the tongue, um, and yeah, all around kind of the edges of my mouth. Not so much on my gums or anything, but I tend to find these burns slowly spread around and creep around, and um, gradually over time it kind of just spreads everywhere. But yeah, it's definitely. I mean, the heat's peaked already. It's it's now quite tolerable. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not other one of the reds. Uh, but it's that's kind of getting up there approaching the kind of yellow seven pot sort of mark so yeah definitely up around the seven eight hundred thousand scoville unit mark anyway that's for certain um, but yeah pretty decent pretty decent heat actually not bad at all but yeah that concludes Surajan's um, pods I've still got a couple more pods to try and um, I still got a couple more boxes on the way as well apparently so the season is by no means over yet um, my season is drawing to a close really um, plants pots are still ripening up I suppose but the ripening process this year has just been extremely extremely slow pods taking forever to turn ripe um, but yeah I can't quite understand it because it's actually been one of the best summers we've had in the UK for a long time obviously still not good enough so yeah I think that's about it for now to be honest um, Burns not doing a lot more just kind of cruising along and um, yeah it'll just hopefully just slowly die away now and um, that's about it but yeah thanks a lot to Surajan another great box of, box of pods we certainly know how to grow some nice chilies because they've all been, all been really good um, yeah nice and tasty decent sized pods as well and um, certainly not lacking in heat so awesome right thanks a lot for watching and um, yeah I'll catch you again very soon cheers <laughs>